If I wear my hat like this, my face is too dark and this is not happening right now. So I guess I'm gonna have to, uh... What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to my 2021 iPad Pro gaming test. Today we're gonna to be throwing some graphically intense titles at the M1 chip inside this beast to see how it pushes them or how these games run. We have Asphalt 9, PUBG Mobile, Wonderbox, Divinity Original Sin 2, Oceanhorn 2, Warface, Shadowgun Legends, of course, Minecraft, and Call of Freaking Duty, dude. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into things here. First up with Asphalt 9, and let me make sure that all of my angles are recording here and I gotta like move out of the way so you can actually see what I'm playing and gotta turn the volume down just a tad. Um, so here we are in Asphalt 9. I got this dope red Z4 that I can race, so. And real quick, here are the sound and display settings. We have 60 FPS enabled and I don't think there's any other options to make the graphics look better. So with that said, let's get into some gameplay here. Yeah, this game always looks so amazing, and I think it's running at 60 FPS pretty consistently. I'm not seeing any frame drops or anything. Um, I just love the way that the car is lit and all the colors and everything. Um, I don't think I'm particularly good at this, although it's not really like free form or like, I don't know, like what's, what's the word, like sandbox? You can't really like move around where you want. You just sort of tap the screen, but I mean, graphically speaking, this game is a masterpiece, so. Um, there you have it. There's this game. The M1 iPad Pro runs it really, really well. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next title here. PUBG Mobile, another touch uh, control game. And if, you know, Asphalt 9 can be played with a controller, let me know. You know, I'm not much of a tablet gamer, so um, I'm a little out of my element, although I did make sure to play these games before um, I make a fool of myself on the internet. Um, but I probably still will, so it doesn't matter. So as you can see, we're downloading some stuff here to play this game. Yeah, I found that the M1 chip really does load games a lot of bit quicker compared to the 2021 or the 2020 and 2018 models, which is nice. I mean, some games are pretty big. Um, so let's go to the settings here. It took me like five minutes to figure out where settings is. I don't play this game often. So let's look at the graphics settings. I have Ultra HD enabled. Uh, UHD is not a thing yet, unfortunately. Um, what else here? I have Realistic as a style. I also have water reflections on. I don't have any color blind modes on. I have shadows on. Frame rate, I have ultra turned on. So, okay, we might be seeing 120 frames or 90 frames, I don't know, we'll see. Um, whatever it is, we'll see how smooth it is. And now we are jumping with my Adidas backpack. <laughs> okay, I just wanna reach the ground here so I can see how nice the graphics are. Let's try to go by that water maybe, possibly. Yeah, I love the sunlight hitting the building here. And frame rate seems pretty consistent. Um, probably capped at 60. Uh, this doesn't look like anything higher than 90, but that's fine with me. Uh, please, no, I just want to see some water. I just want to see some water. I just want some water. I just want some water. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see if I'm going to kill this mod. Come on, come on up here. Come on, I got you. Come on. Yeah, 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 that's what you get. <laughs> I'm not petty. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't expect the last. I thought I was gonna die and have to start over, but we're gonna see some water. We're going to guys, we are, we are gonna. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, no 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 no! We're gonna do this. We're gonna see some water. Ah 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 ah! I I just I I just want to see some water. Oh, 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 please stop. I'm sorry, mom, I gotta see some water. Ah, 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 Water time, water time. Hey, I can't talk right now. I'm, I'm playing a game, just, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Love you. What, are you here? I, I'm, I'm recording a video. Um, one. Oh, there's some water. Okay, let me let me get back to you, please. Where are you? What? Yeah, pretty much. Bye. Bye. 
We found some water, people. Water. It's right here. We did it. It's all I wanted to see. And it looks pretty nice. Look at the water. It's shining. Heck yeah. All right, let's shoot this uh, thing right here. Okay, that is uh, PUBG Mobile for you. We saw some water, great. <laughs> Next up, let's play Wonderbox. This is a really interesting game. It's from Apple Arcade. Uh, and I love the way it looks. Like I love the way it, like the mechanics are. So I'll show you how that is in a minute. Um, I just started playing. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna be like playing this consistently, but I do like it. I'm like, I'm not much of a gamer as it is. This game is also controller compatible and I love the way you change your perspective. So here we are in this little room. Um, so we can go out here and jump around and stuff. Also, it's very detailed. There's different lighting, very colorful. Um, definitely takes advantage of the hardware in here. And here we are in this outside scene. Look at how the lighting changes. Um, I can jump. Oh no, oh, ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, 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 there's someone behind me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, th oh, this is a boss, this is a boss, this is a boss, this is a boss, this is a boss. Uh, well, <clears throat> okay. So I'll try fighting him again. Oh, I killed him. Was that a boss? I don't think so, maybe it was. Oh, so right trigger zooms you in. Oh, look at that. So this is a very close up view. Um, and then left trigger zooms you out. Oh, that's so cool. So you can sort of like see if your enemies are around and zoom back in. Yeah, very cinematic game. Love the lighting, love the colors, and here we go. I got the, what is it called? The Heart of Adventure or something? You got the Heart of Adventure. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and I think it definitely showcases the power of the M1 chip. Next up, we got Divinity Original Sin 2. This is a whole PC console game that was ported over. This came out in 2018, I think. And yeah, this is really hype. Uh, you can actually play multiplayer, like co-op split screen. I can't do that here because I'm only one guy with one controller. But regardless, this is a very cool looking game. And although I'm not the type to play this, um, we're going to play story mode, single player. So here we are in game. And I think this title really does answer the question, you know, is iPad Pro with the M1 chip console level? I think so. I mean, just like look at the lighting, look at the wood, look at how much detail there is. And uh, I'm some sort of undead character that has to hide his face or something like that. This game is way too detailed for me. Like I'm not gonna remember all the lore and stuff. Uh, nor am I gonna you know, actively play it, but it's a great demo of what this hardware is capable of pushing. I mean, this game just looks amazing. Like I said, it's a whole you know, like PC console title. So yeah, I think that if games are ported over like this, you could you know, label the iPad Pro as console level. And the M1 chip is probably powerful enough to run a lot of the modern games that we know and love. Hopefully Battlefield 6 or whatever comes out, that would be the coolest thing if EA did that. But this gives me hope here that, you know, we're gonna see some big AAA titles maybe, or not AAA, but you know, like graphically intense titles at the very least that we're accustomed to seeing with more powerful Nvidia or AMD hardware, or, you know, the processors within the Xbox and PlayStation series consoles. But anyway, I'm not gonna continue playing because I really don't know how to, but if you've been waiting for this title specifically or titles like this, it's really exciting to see something like this being ran on an iPad smoothly at that. Next up, we got Oceanhorn 2. I played this last year with the iPad Pro 2020. It's also an Apple Arcade game, and I really love how it looks. So we'll load in here. So here we are. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ooh. Uh, so I killed something. There's some water happening over here. Uh, yeah, seems to be running pretty smoothly. Um, I might see some stutter here and there, but understandably so. This game looks really intense to, you know, run. So yeah, I'm having a great gaming experience here with Oceanhorn 2. I think it's running at 30 FPS, so my unoptimized comments might be wrong, but uh, yeah, it's pretty similar to what I remember with my 2020 iPad Pro. And like I said, once developers start to, you know, make their apps and games, uh, take advantage of the M1 chip, we should see even better performance, but I'm pretty sure I'm just not used to 30 FPS. That sounds so snobby, but I swear to God, I'm not lying. I don't game too often, and when I do, I like to play FPS titles with like really high frame rate, uh, so, you know. Just saying, just putting that out there. And speaking of FPS shooters, we have a game called Warface, which is touch controls only, sadly, but I like the graphics. Um, and yeah, it's sort of a COD, Battlefield lookalike, I guess. So we will try to play a game here without the menu and tutorial getting in the way, so. But yeah, this game is really smooth. It might even be running at more than 60 FPS. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, got 
killed. But yeah, like, look at the lighting on the concrete floor. Look at the detail in these wooden crates right here and the guns. I wish this game had controller support because I would unironically play this. Um, so if the developers are watching, please add controller support. So if you play this game, it runs beautifully on the M1 chip. The graphics look amazing. And actually, let me check and see what kind of graphic settings I have here. I'm gonna leave the match. Quality settings are very high, so I turn that on immediately. Uh, maybe it's not set at that by default, so you know, keep that in mind. But with the M1 chip, you really shouldn't be afraid to crank up the graphics in any game that you're playing here. So let's move on to the next one. Next up, we got Shadowgun Legends, another game that's very detailed, another FPS at that. I love FPS games, although I'm not like amazing at them. So here we are, let me check the graphics settings. So ultra high detail and 60 FPS is enabled. So far, very smooth. Look at the ground, look how detailed it is as I'm being killed. Um, oh, hi. You're supposed to be dead. Oh, that's a friend. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this boss here. Like bullets are gonna do anything. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Oh, we're gonna kill it, we're gonna kill it, we're gonna kill it. It's dead. Yeah. Um, fun game, amazing looking graphics on the iPad, pretty smooth frame rate, a few drops and stutters here and there, uh, but yeah, completed. Let's go to the next game. Next up, we got this indie sort of underground game called Minecraft. I'm not sure if you ever heard of it, uh, but I'm gonna play it here. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna load it up, play, create a new world, create. We're gonna make a creative world so we can fly around, turn off achievements. Great, let's see how fast this takes. Building terrain. And we're here. Look at that. Wow. Of course, super, super smooth flying around. Um, we got a village here. And of course, like any Minecraft player, what do you do in a village? You blow it up. So <laughs> great, great content here, guys. Obviously, um, I don't condone blowing up actual villages, but Minecraft villages, you know, it's always fun to do that. Um, not for the villagers, I kind of feel bad, but um, you know, oh well. I can't tell you how many times I did this. Oh, I'm, uh, oops. I, I did this like a million times when I was 12 years old, so it's nice to get back to the uh, grind here of blowing up <laughs> villages. It's exploding effortlessly. I always found that exploding TNT demonstrates the power of your processor, so um, if it handles it better, you know it's a powerful processor, so. The M1 chip is doing just that. Oh no, he passed away. Oh, and let's uh, have the grand finale here. Let's explode this house. Let's pack it full of TNT. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. Well, being super close to the explosion didn't really do anything, so that's cool. Um, you know what, I actually wanna do one more thing. Let's go to the nether. Why is this? This is taking way too long. I'm just used to a keyboard and mouse. I'm a PC gamer, guys. I'm part of the PC. I'm part of the PC master race. Uh, there we go. All right. Whoa. Generating world. We're building terrain. And we are in. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. Here's a gas. And here we are. The nether. Running beautifully. Rendering beautifully. We have some quartz over there. Another activity I'd love to do is go to the nether and mine some XP. Or, or just mine the quartz so I can build with it and I can get a lot of XP super quick. And I think to no one's surprise, it's running really well on the M1 iPad. And with that said, let's move on to our final game. And finally, we're gonna play some COD, dude. So let's open up this app. So we have low, medium, high, and very high graphics as well as low to max frame rate. And with max frame rate, you can only choose high or up to high graphic quality. And I think I'm gonna go with that configuration because FPS shooters, you wanna have like the highest frame rate possible so you don't die, so you can like, notice more and stuff. So anyway, we're going to enable that. I also have realistic on. All right, here we are. The lighting on this gun looks very nice and the frame rate looks very high as well. Ah, oh, man, okay. One more kill. That's definitely not a bot, definitely not a bot. Yeah. Look at the water. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, the water <laughs> looks really, really nice. Very realistic. We have really nice lighting on the tiles here. Um, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm coming for you. That's offensive. You don't shoot people. That's mean. 
Yep, got you. Yeah, everything looks really nice. The lighting looks very nice. The water looks very nice. And uh, I'm sure it'd look even nicer with very high settings, but I would rather choose to have higher frame rate than higher settings. I always do that in any PC FPS games that I play. Shoink, 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 shoink. <laughs> Where'd you go? Pretty lady, let me see. Hello, my wife. Where are you going? Uh, no, no, please don't shoot at me. I do not have my AK-47 on me right now. No, no, it's not fair. Where did you go? Shoink, shoink. Oh, 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 <laughs> shoink. <laughs> These have to be bots. There's no way. There's no way that they're this bad or I'm this good. Sniper! Don't worry. Oh. Speaking of which. I want snipe. I want snipe. Ooh, I sniped. Damn, damn. Whoa. Please don't. Come on. Oh, snipe. Ooh. I'm dying, that's okay. Yep, I accept my fate. And that is, um, that's it guys. It is now 12.33 at night. My mom called me as I was shooting this and was like, where the hell are you? Cause I said I was coming home. So uh, I'm gonna edit this and go home and hopefully go to sleep at a decent hour. Oh, and of course I forgot to check. We are down to 48% from the initial 76% at the beginning of the test. So down like, what is that? Like 27, 28%, something like that. I can't do math in my head, um, which is impressive for about an hour or so of intense or graphically intense gaming, you know, high settings at around 65% brightness. Uh, so yeah, the M1 chip is not only powerful, but also pretty power efficient as well. My camera's overheating, so I will end this here. Thank you for watching. A shout out, by the way, to my boy, uh, Knoopsie. He made these amazing wallpapers on his brand new site, um, knoopsie.media, so I will leave a link to this particular wallpaper in the video description. I had like the lighting uh, planned out in a certain way to uh, sort of, I guess, um, complement this beautiful wallpaper. And uh, yeah, other than that, I will catch you all in the next one.